Hi again, and in keeping with the fun Halloween theme, tomorrow is Halloween, and I wanted to pop in and talk a little bit about dark empaths. And last year around this time, I did a really fun social media campaign about this. I realized there's nothing fun about energy vampires or um, dark empaths, but we can make it fun and it's okay to poke at this a little bit because of course, neither the term dark empath or energy vampire are rooted in, uh, in, in clinical data or information. And I myself personally think it is a good idea to take more of a lighthearted look at these concepts. So what is a dark empath? I, I find this confusing myself. Um, and if anyone else has information that can help to clarify this, chime in. But I think that there are those people who are empathic, but who are disconnected from their own inner emotional experience. I think there are also people who are very good at picking up on the, the most negative things we're thinking. I'm going to get in trouble for this, but I think that those who have the unfortunate diagnosis and label of borderline personality disorder, again, I am not fond of this term, but I think that they can very much be dark empaths. And I think that they feel things even more intensely and pick up on things even more intensely than your garden variety empath, let's say. And that isn't a bad thing. It's what they've had to do to survive. And they are hyper vigilant around sensing someone's negative feelings because they've had to be. It's been part of their um, survival mechanism. And I think that narcissists can also be dark empaths, especially the vulnerable ones. But the whole concept of being a dark empath is that you are able to fake empathy, you fake kindness, you fake being nice. There's a school of thought that these are the folks who have very dark senses of humor, right? Like they say something, but it's not funny. And um, you will walk away from your exchanges with them being a little bit confused and bewildered about, you know, where they were coming from. Both dark empaths and energy vampires are snipers. They lay in wait, they get your trust, they, they learn where you're vulnerable and they use it against you. So I'm going to come back to this definition. They can appear to be understanding and empathic, but it's not coming from their own felt sense, right? So empathy really means to feel with. A dark empath will sense what you're feeling and be able to feed it back to you. There's a lot of this that goes on in sales, I think, um, where someone gets a sense of, you know, what your vulnerability is and exploits that. Not all the time, but sometimes. Um, dark empaths are very good at manipulating you to get information that then they can later use against you. So this is something that correlates with personality pathology. But I also think that some dark empaths are out there under the guise of, you know, being healers or mystics or psychics or mediums. And I love all of those things as much as the next person. But, um, you know, there is always the possibility of someone not being honest or above board or a bit of a charlatan. And to me, that falls under that category of being a dark empath. It's a confusing term, as I've said, but it, in the simplest of terms, it's when someone uses that ability for their own gain. And the more people call and cultivate their spiritual gifts of empathy and intuition, the more vulnerable they are for bringing ego into that mix, which then 
raises the risk of someone being a dark empath. So this is where there's an overlap with spiritual and communal narcissism. Okay, so, you know, those those folks who may very well have these abilities, but they're using them for their own ego gain rather than genuine connection. So again, that overlap, if you will, with someone who's who's spiritually narcissistic or you know who who is a communal narcissist so you know you think a little bit about even someone who's speaking to a crowd right and they're they're sensing the pain point of that crowd and then manipulating that for their own gain i think this is all around us again this is not a technical clinical psychological term it is more of a modern day nomenclature, if you will. Um, it, and it is something that, you know, I, I wouldn't even characterize anybody with this, but it's a, it's a pattern of relating and behaving. And uh, certainly something fun to think about on the day before Halloween when let's face it we're a little bit more open to the shadow right so a dark empath is someone who archetypically their empathic ability or their intuition lives in shadow right it operates from that shadow energy and these are folks who are completely oblivious to their own inner experience or the way that they're influencing other people. Again, I really want to hear your thoughts about this, your take on this, come into the conversation. Uh, maybe you know something about this. I don't. I'm super curious to hear what that is. So comment, like, subscribe, and uh I wish you a super fun Halloween if, if you celebrate that. Take care.